Hello YouTube fam, so you want to know how to make a perfect simple working zoom animation? Let's get into it. And as always you can get this scene and the final scene from the links down below. Let's get started. So, what we have in this scene is a simple FPS controller from the Unity asset, standard asset, and then a modern weapons pack with the AK-47 as our test weapon. First thing we want to do is just go to the modern, modern weapons pack, go to the FBX files and then just drag and drop this under the first person character right here, the camera. Then go to the game view and that does not look good. You probably might even want to drag the game view out to the right so you can see both at the same time. I know there's a camera down here but I don't feel that it's like good enough. And now just go to the AK-47, select it and then drag it out and position it somewhere you find it looks decent there next up we are going to create an animation so go to the assets create a animation folder like so folder and call this animations so now click on the ak-47 if you don't have the animation tab right here on the right uh, just go to Windows, uh, Animation and Animation right here again and a tab will appear and you can just dock it anywhere you want. So with the AK-47 selected, uh, click here on the Create button, go to your Animations folder if you haven't, right here just Assets and then Animations and just let's make a idle animation first. Idle. Um, click Save and go to Add Property, Transform and position. We want to change the position. So now just uh, go with your white thing here, go to 30. These are the two keyframes which we want to change. But for now go to 30 right here with the white thing, click the red record button and then just slightly lower the transform right here in your scene view. Now if you play it, the weapon will swing up and down really fast though. But I wouldn't worry too much about it. We can slow the animation down in our animator later. So this is the first animation we created. We just had to start any, uh, the start transform and the end transform right here. Same ones. And then we have a key point which automatically add, adds itself when we start recording with the red button here. Now, before we create the zoom in animation, we want to go to the first person character, the camera in your game, whatever it is, main camera that displays the weapon. Now, change the field of views. See, if we zoom in, we kind of zoom in on its own. So just let's go, let's say to go like to 20, to have a real big zoom in. And now we can actually modify the animation better. So go to the, select your AK-47 again, go to create new clip. And let's call it zoom in animation, zoom in anim for the, this instance, and go to add property, transform, and position. And now we just want to delete the right keyframe because we want it to just zoom in and nothing else. And then just go to like point zero five right here and hit record. And now we just want to drag the weapon so that we can see it through the crosshair so it's probably going to be zero and move this up a bit like this and now we can just perfectly simply aim hit the record button again and now you can actually see the animation going real fast and now we want to go to the animator right here so what we have here from the entry we just go to the idle animation right there that's perfectly fine now we want to create a state, an empty state. Let's call this state, let's say zoomed in state. Okay, now just zoomed in, it's probably better like that. Hit enter to apply it and let's make a transition to the zoomed state and make a transition back. Now we also want a parameter. Let's make this a bool and let's call this zoom in. This is very important how you spell it. So now let's go to the arrow that points to the zoomed in state right here, the, this arrow and just could under conditions go to plus and zoomed in has to be set to true right here. And now go to the next arrow and conditions and false right here, just the other way around. 
and for exit time probably we should probably leave that and well let's try it like, let's go to the zoomed in and actually we have to add a motion which is just going to be the zoom in animation and uh, so has exit time we do not want that for the idle animation we just want it for the zoomed animation right so the idle animation once we try to zoom in we want to immediately zoom in and start the animation okay we don't really have to have any so just click this unclick this uncheck it and we're done with that and for the other one we want a transition duration exit time sure and transition duration point one let's do it like that yeah we also want to go to the idle animation and the speed to like 0.5 so it's not as fast as it was before let's code something now let's go to our scripts folder create a c sharp script and call this an animator just like this and open it up in your favorite editor so we not, now we need a private animator so that we can access um, where is it uh, the this thing the animator right here on the ak-47 this controller right here then we want a private float the zoom animation time and let's make a public um, let's call this also make this a zoom and then time a getter which just returns the values so it still can it can be private but we don't really have to make it public so just a nicer and cleaner way of doing it and now just nm is equal to get component and call this animator right there whoops and also make a function let's call this function we do not need the update function right there we can delete that let's make a private void and let's call this set zoom and time we are dynamically going to search all the animations here for the ak-47 and get the time of this anim zoomed in animation clip right there so let's try it out zoom and anim time so let's just get the animation clip and this is an array the clips and we want this to be equal to the anim.runtime anim animation controller animation clips this is just so we get all the clips and then let's make a for each loop and go through all the animation clip all right, let's call this clip and uh, clip and clips and just if the clip dot name is equal to now the name has to be equal to go to unity and this is the name right here the file name actually which is kind of weird but it has to be called zoom in anim with capital z i n a so zoom in anim right. if we found the clip that we are looking for just go to the zoom whoops zoom anim time is equal to clip dot length and we just can return out of this function because we don't really need anything else and we also want a public void zoom in and we are going to change the bool that we made before again it's going to take in a bool zoom in and just set the nm dot set bool and again this takes in a string or an int id but also a string and a boolean so the boolean can be the, just the zoom in value that we pass in but for the string we just need to go to unity again go to our animator and look how we call the parameter here it's a capital z and capital i so just go to our editor again and type in zoom in it has to be the same unfortunately where it won't work now right here and in the start function we actually need to call this function this is good we can just put this on our weapon right now already so just add component and call this a weapon animator nothing else we need to do now go to our scripts folder again right here and create a new c sharp script let's call this i don't know weapon zoom right there open it up again in your favorite editor this might be a part of a different web manager script or anything else, but for now it's just a tutorial for demonstration purposes. So let's make it work like that. 
First off, we need a couple of serialized fields, a private weapon animator. Let's call this the AK-47 animator and a serialized field. Let's call this a private float zoomed in field of view. This zoomed in field of view is just going to be a variable in the, if you go to the Unity, to the camera object right here, the first person character. If we get to that, and this is the field of view that we want to change. It's basically here on the right, you see the game window. You can just see it change. So at the start we had, I think, 60, was it? And then when we zoom in, we want to lower this field of view. And then if we zoom out, we want to return the field of view again to 60. We, want, we also want a private float. Let's call this base field of view so we know what to return to and then a private camera let's call this main cam right. let's make a start function where we just assign the main camera to the camera dot main and also the base field of view is going to be equal to the main cam dot field of view just the starting field of view is going to be our base field of view obviously and now we want the update function what we want to do in the update function, check if the user hits the right mouse button. So if input dot get, get mouse button down and on one, this is the right button. We want to zoom in and else if the user releases the mouse button, which is just a input dot get mouse button up and again the right mouse button, we want to zoom out. So how do we do the zoom in and zoom out? Uh, we want to do it in a enumerator. Since I love them, I'm just going to use them over and over again. So just again, a private enumerator right there. Zoom in, and let's call it like that. And a bool and zoom in. This is just going to represent if it's true, we want to zoom in. If it's false, we want to zoom out. And what we want to do is first off get the animation going. So the AK47 animator that zoom in, zoom in, and just pass the zoom in right there. And also we want to get the animation time. So float anim time is going to be equal to the AK47 animator dot zoom anim time right there. Also the float elapsed as always is going to be equal to zero float and let's make a float start field of view let's make that equal to the main cam dot field of view and this has to be equal to the current field of view because if the user starts zooming in and then releases the mouse button we don't want any glitching so um if you will see it once you do it uh, if you start zooming in and then release it, we want to start the animation right at the point where you are in the current animation. Float and field of view. Let's make this equal to if the zoom in is true. This is a ternary operator and we then we want to zoom. Okay, I have made a typo here. The, okay, I probably... Double hit Ctrl R and then you can change it in Visual Studio. Zoom it in field of view. I uh, just got confused for a second. And if it's false, then we want the base field of view. This is the same as if I just would write if the zoom in is equal to true. Then I want the end field of view, like the, the state at the end of the animation, to be equal to zoomed in field of view. And if not, I want the end field of view to be equal to the base field of view. Like that. That is just the exact same, just written in one line. And now let's get to the fun part. The while loop. While the elapsed time, dang it, elapsed is less than the animation time. Make a float current field of view. Make it equal to mathf.lerp and lerp in between the start field of view, the end field of view, and make it a fraction of this animation time right here, right there. 
the elapsed time divided by the animation time. So how far we are in between these two values. Now just change the main cam dot field of view to the current field of view. And then just add the elapsed. Add to the elapsed the time dot delta time and the yield return null yield return null. That's it for the enumerator. Now we just need to start the coroutine. So, so first we want to stop all coroutines. So stop all coroutines. This is because again, if we are in the zoom animation and the user releases the red mouse button, we don't want any weird glitching. So stop the coroutines and then start a coroutine right here. And this is the zoom animation and pass in. We want to zoom in. So true. Now copy this. Go down here, paste it, and just change this to false. Dang it, false. And let's go to Unity, let it compile. And go to your first person character. Right here, that's where the camera is, the main camera actually. And add component and the weapon zoom script right here. In the AK-47 animator, just drop the AK-47 and the zoomed field of view, I think we had 20 when we tried it and it looked pretty decent. And one last thing we have to do is go in the zoom in animation and the uncheck the loot time. You probably have this right here checked, uncheck it and also double click it and I played around with it and decided these, these two keyframes at 0 0.05 were just stupid and just drag them out to like 0 0.25 or let's zoom in out a little bit and go to like half a second that's a decent time for the zoom in animation one tweak we can still do in the animator is go to the zoomed in and go to this arrow to the downwards arrow to the idle animation and here where we have the has exit time we can go to like 0 0.3 which which is about this time and then just roll it and see what this exit time looks like if we zoom in and zoom out bam and bam and that's about it for this video you can also do a zoom out animation or just reverse it to just make it look a little bit not so clunky but i don't think that the zoom out animation is as important as the zoom in animation like that this is not as important in my opinion and it's just an easier way to do it so if you enjoyed this video Hit the like button, subscribe, and see you in the next one.